What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Talk Cars. And today we're gonna to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a little bit, and that is change the color of my brake calipers. From the factory it came gray or silver, so I wanted to put some color on it and I'm gonna change it to red. I'm gonna use the same product that I used in the previous video. I'll suggest it up top, put it, the link down in the description if you haven't seen that video already. Go check it out. But basically it's a sprayable vinyl wrap that sprays on similar to like Plasti Dip and you can remove it the same way like you can Plasti Dip. So that's what I'm gonna use to change the color to red. Um, I did get the stickers, the AMG stickers to put back over there and we're gonna see how it turns out. All right, so let me tell you what products I have and what tools I'm gonna use to perform this task. All right, so the products we're gonna need is, you're gonna need something to mask off the area so you don't get any overflow or spray off from the aerosol paint cans. You're gonna need tape, prep solution, two cans of the sprayable vinyl wrap. This is the base coat, which is just white. Two cans of the sprayable vinyl wrap in the color that you chose, I chose red. At least two floor jacks. I have four, so I'm going to use all four to prop up the car so I don't have to do two at a time. Last but not least, floor jack. All right, so let's jump into jacking up the car. Okay, so as you can see, the car is fully masked and all I have to do now is jack up the car, and I'll take the tires off, mask the rear wheels, and then we're ready to paint. So now that we got everything masked off, taped up, prepped, clean, we're gonna go ahead and apply the first coat of base coat. Like always, the first coat is gonna be a light coating. Um, and we're gonna do that to all four, wait 15 minutes, and then proceed on to the second, third, and fourth coat. Per the instructions, the base coat can get four to six coats and the color coat can get four to six coats as well with 15 minutes waiting in between each coat. So I'll probably do four coats of each one and we'll see what we get. All right, let's move on to the painting. So per the instructions, you want to let the paint sit in hot water for 10 to 20 minutes. All right, so we're ready to paint. I'm gonna hit it with the tack cloth just one more time to get rid of any debris or anything that may have settled since we last prepped. Then after that, we're gonna hit it with the spray. Just lightly go over it. This picks up any loose particles or anything like that. All right, let's get going. So as always, shake your can for about a one minute. All right, so we're good. As always, do a little spray off. Make sure everything's coming out. We're ready to rock and roll. So just a light coat to begin with. So now we're gonna wait 15 minutes. All right, so here's the first coat of the white. All right, first coat has dried for 15 minutes. Now it's time to apply the second coat. These are wet coats, so you wanna make sure you get it nice and wet without too much in one spot and it being runny or anything like that. You just want to slow, smooth, spray it across.
second coat down. Now it's time for the wait 15 minutes. We're on our fourth coat. It's starting to get there. I might have to do six coats, but let's keep going. So I've done four coats, still look a little thin. So I think we'll do one more coat all the way around and see what we get from there. And then we're gonna move on to the color coat. All right, here we go. All right, another 15 on the clock, and that should be our last coat for the base coat. All right, so we finished the base coat. Everything's looking good. Now we can move on to the color coat. Same thing applies here. Spray a light coating at first, wait 15 minutes, then go back and do, I guess, another three or four wet coats with 15 minutes in between each coat. So, time for the color coat. Let's see what we get. Remember, shake one minute before. All right. All right, so here we go. So we've made a light dusting on all four calipers. Wait 15 minutes. Let's see what we get. All right, we're on to our second coat. Remember, the second coat going forward is gonna be a lot thicker a lot heavier, but you don't want to go too heavy to where it starts to run. So this is the second coat and you can see it's still some areas that are light. So you want to make sure you go back and hit those 
on your next coat. All right, we got everything painted. The calipers have dried overnight. So now it's time to take everything off and see what the final results are. Once I take everything off, I do have stickers for the AMG logo. So I'm gonna put those on and then we'll see what it looks like. So let's check it out. All right, so now that we have everything coated, it's looking really good. Last thing to do is to add your logos to the calipers. Now, I think some of them are painted, but some of them are stickers. In this particular case, I have stickers. They're black, so that I think the black against the red will look really well. Got these off of eBay. They were not that bad. You just put them on like you would do a window decal. I'm gonna cut it out and then just add it to each one. So I'm just pressing the sticker down. I got a felt cloth squeegee to make sure you get all the corners. What I might have to do is do a clear coat over hit this thing so it doesn't uh, start to peel or anything. All right, so let's pull it back. There we go. Oh man, that looks awesome. All right, three more. I'm gonna do those off camera. Then I'll show you the final results of everything with the wheels on. All right guys, there you have it. As you can see, calibers came out very well. I'm pleased with the end result. The decal are on there. Those look amazing. So the red and black combination looks very good. Um, only thing that's left is just to put the tires on there. And then I'll show you guys one last overview with the rims on there. If you haven't done so already, give me that thumbs up, click that subscription button and hit that notification bell. That way next time I upload, you'll be the first one to know. So until next time, I'm out.